Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Jennifer Tan. Thank you for joining us. Like many parents in Luoshui town of Sichuan, Li Yongjun lost his only son to the Great China Earthquake. The bereaved father sat in front of his house doing nothing for months. However, under the patient care of Cixi volunteers and after some inspiration from Master Zheng Yin's aphorisms, Li has emerged from his shell. Now he is the proud owner of a small grocery store and a part-time volunteer. Li Yongjun never thought that by following Cixi volunteers to do charity work, he would be reunited with an old friend. When my son was two years old, I needed someone to look after him, so I asked Miss Liu to take care of him. Seeing his son's nanny from over a decade ago, Li gives her an extra rub down. Yet a tinge of sadness also arises. The son that connects the two lost his life to the Great Sichuan Earthquake. An outstanding student at Luoshui Middle School, the boy's death devastated Li. The father did nothing but sit in front of his door for months, eventually coming to the attention of Cixi volunteers. As a father, losing a son will haunt me for the rest of my life. But after Sister Xiangzi shared Cixi's aphorisms with me, the pain inside my heart started to subside. Comforted and encouraged by volunteers, Li Yongjun has gradually opened up and is emerging from his grief. By learning to contribute, the brave father has found his path to a brighter future.